Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Joe Bernard, the Minister of Cult Culturality, Free Church Invernessure. Let me just first thank the presiding officer and members of parliament for the opportunity to be here. On Saturdays, when we're tidying up the house, my children often ask me, when can I be done? I used to give them a list of to-dos, but I've realized that their question is itself a problem. The problem is this. They are thinking of a family activity in selfish terms. My strategy as a parent is now to teach my kids that the important question is not when can I be done, but how can I help us finish the task? And I've got to admit thus far I'm a total failure at this. Jesus understood the importance of helping people ask the right questions. Like Socrates, he was a master at, heal, at revealing hidden assumptions and enabling people to shift their mental categories. One of my favorite moments in the Gospels is when a really intelligent man, seeking to look good in front of his peers and reflecting upon the ancient command, love your neighbor as yourself, asks Jesus the question, who then is my neighbor? As Jesus often does, instead of giving a direct reply, he answers with a story. I won't repeat the story. You know it. It's the story of the Good Samaritan. I just want to point out the mind-shifting idea hidden within a story that has become a moral cliche. A selfish assumption was lodged within the question of the young man. To ask, who is my neighbor?, is to attempt to draw a circle around a limited set of people in order to reduce the sphere of my personal responsibility. If these are my neighbors, then I'm only accountable to them. But Jesus has no taste for self-interest. The explosive idea hidden within the parable is that responsibility is not something that can be measured, quantified, and validated but something that moment by moment is either fulfilled or neglected. In other words, a neighbor, my responsibility, is never an object detached from me, but a relationship of fidelity that I find myself within and that I must maintain. Perhaps your job is not wholly dissimilar from mine. As a minister in the church, I sometimes fall into the trap of trying to appraise my work by measuring the number of people that I have helped. This parable of Jesus is a goad to think differently. The true criterion of responsibility is not how much I have done, but whether I recognize the need staring into my eyes right now, and whether I act on behalf of this woman, this man, or this child, with grace, justice, and mercy. Only then have I fulfilled my God-given calling to be a neighbor. Before we start, can I indicate to members that we...